Now, what are you doing in the park? I saw you squatting here. You having breakfast? Uh, something like that. I might, uh, Thanksgiving breakfast. Thanksgiving breakfast? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Are you homeless? Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, touring around. Just touring around? Yeah. So where are you from originally? Uh, I'm, from, I'm from Mexico, from the uh, state of Morelos, Morelos, Mexico. And are you enjoying the states? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, now, do you, do you think there's an afterlife? Um, mm, yes, yes, there is. There so is, there's, there's a, there is, there's I think. a heaven? Um, mm, mm, mm. It looks like it could be heaven. There's a hell? Uh, uh, absolutely, for sure, that's for sure. So which one are you going to? Me, I am going to be here for a while. And then where are you going? Heaven or hell? Um, I am praying that I go to heaven because I'm, I'm think, trying to think good in my mind, I'm trying to think uh, positively, and um, uh, I do. I still think of sins and stuff in my head, so, you know, bad things. But then again, I also uh, lie and steal. Uh, I don't steal. I, I do tell a few lies, but you won't believe me, but uh, I hardly ever tell a lie. And I hardly ever steal. Like, uh, to be honest, I just recently stole. So you hardly ever steal. Have you ever used uh, God? Hardly. Hardly. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Um, I would lie to you if I say I didn't. Appreciate your honesty. Now, Jesus said if you look at a woman and you lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes, I have. Yes. So, Roberto, this is bad news. <laughs> I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. I'm saying that I have done that because, I mean, I am human. I am a sinner. I am not pure at all. Um, I am not God. I am not, I am not uh, perfect. Um, I don't think you are anybody to judge me because... Uh, yeah, I'm not judging you. I just believed what you said. You told me you're a yeah, lying yeah, thief. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, here's the big question, and it's a real important question. Roberto, if God judges you by the Ten Commandments on Judgment Day, you have looked at four of them, you gonna be innocent or guilty? Um, I am gonna be. Um, I am gonna be uh, forgiven. I am gonna be. Uh, that wasn't the question. Uh, Would you be innocent or guilty if God judges you by the Ten Commandments? You'd be guilty, wouldn't you? Mm, if he goes, um, how many out of ten, right? Like if I get six right. Okay. So, <laughs> you want more commandments? Have you ever hated somebody? Ah. Uh, I have, I have uh, hey man, you're asking too many questions. Can you talk about something yeah, else? Yeah, sure. I'll tell you about something else. We're talking about the afterlife. And then yeah, I'll tell you about, yeah. we'll talk about something else. And this you, is... Are you a cop? No, I'm not a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Stay with me, Roberto, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dogs don't run around with dogs like that. Uh, uh, let me take, talk about something else. You know, it's true, if you die in your sins, you'll end up in hell, and I'd hate that to happen to you. I like you, and uh, you've got great worth in God's eyes. You're a human being, like you said. And the Bible says God is rich in mercy, and he provided a Savior. You can be forgiven all those sins in an instant because Christ died on the cross. He took our punishment upon himself. Now, you probably know that, but you may not know this. You and I broke God's law. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. Jesus came and paid the fine. If someone pays the fine, a judge can let you out of court. He can say, look, Roberto's guilty, but someone's paid his fine. He's out of here. Well, God can forgive your sins in an instant all because of what Jesus did on the cross. The Bible says God commended his love toward us and that while we yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yeah. Do you remember what he said on the cross just before he died? Mm. He said, it is finished. In other words, the debt has been paid. That means God can commute your death sentence and let you live forever all because of the suffering, death, and resurrection of the Savior. What you have to do is repent and trust in Jesus like you trust a parachute. If you're going to jump out of a plane, you don't just believe in a parachute, you put your faith in it. Roberto, if you'll do that, if you'll confess and forsake your sins and trust in Jesus, God will forgive every sin you've ever committed and grant you the gift of everlasting life. Now, do you think I'm telling the truth? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for your words. That's actually really, uh, I really needed something like that. Uh, do you have a Bible, Roberto? Mm, I do at home. I do. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you something that will help you. And Roberto, thank you for listening to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, more, than, more than any of you, it was, like, uh, it was a uh, great advice. And, uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.